Hi there, and welcome to Photoshop Elements 13. Let's get started by taking a quick tour of some of the basic things you might need to know how to do in Photoshop Elements. First thing you need to do is make sure that you're in the Media view. Across the top are the different views in the Elements Organizer. If you're not already in the Media view, go ahead and click on Media to get there. The next thing we want to do is import some photos. Now your photos can already be on the hard drive of your computer, or they can be on the storage card of your camera. Let's start with getting some photos off of our hard drive. Over here on the left is our import menu. Go ahead and click on import and decide whether you want to import some photos from your files and folders, that's your hard drive, or whether you want to import your photos from a camera or card reader. Let's get started by pulling them off of our hard drive. So I'll just select from files and folders, and in the dialog box that opens up, I can navigate my hard drive to find my pictures. I'm going to go ahead and move to my desktop, and there's a folder there called Buddy that I know has some pictures in it that I want to pull in. I'm just going to open up the Buddy folder. Down along the bottom, there's a couple options I can check. Most times, I just want to leave the default settings, and then just come over here and click Get Media. And there you go. My photos have been imported into the Elements Organizer. Now when the photos are first imported, it's only showing me the photos that were just imported. If I want to see all my photos, I would just click this little back button right here, and I go back and see all of the photos that are in the Elements Organizer. Now let's say I've also got some photos on the memory card from my camera. The process is pretty much the same. Over here on the left, I click Import, but this time I choose from Camera or Card Reader. This dialog box will open. If I have more than one camera or card connected to my computer, I'll see it in this list. I can tell Elements exactly where I'd like to import the photos from onto my hard drive. And then all I have to do is click Get Media. And there you go. All of the photos that were on my camera card have been imported into the Elements Organizer. They've also been copied onto my hard drive, so I can delete them from my camera card to make more space to capture more pictures. If I hit this back button, then I get to see all of the photos. So intermixed are the ones that were already on my hard drive and the ones that I just moved onto my hard drive off of the memory card for my camera. Now that we've got our photos imported into the Elements Organizer, we want to do some basic organization tasks. There's lots of things you can do in the Organizer, but what we want to do first is create an album. It's pretty easy. I can just select one or more photos. If I hold my Shift key down, and click on multiple photos, I can select more than one. And then I come over here to the left, next to my local albums, and just click on that little green plus sign. The photos that I had selected are automatically put into my photo bin. Up top here, I can give my album a name. I'm going to call this Crystal, because these are pictures of my cat, whose name is Crystal. And then all I have to do is click OK. Now what that does is over here on the left in my albums panel, I've created a new album called Crystal. And if I click on that album, all of my photos are filtered down to just the photos that I put in that Crystal album. If I want to go back and see everything, well that's what this all media button is for. So maybe I want to also create some pictures with Buddy the Wonder Dog. This is Buddy. And I'm just going to shift click a few of them and do the exact same thing. Click the green plus mark, give this album a name, and click OK. So as you can see, now I've got two albums, one called Buddy and one called Crystal. And if I click on either of those albums, my photos will be filtered down to just the photos that are in that album. If I go back to All Media, and there's some other photos that I might want to add to one of those albums. It's as simple as selecting them and dragging them into the album. So these are all pictures of Buddy, so I'll just drag them into the album. I can select more than one at a time, again, by holding my Shift key down and just clicking on them and dragging all of them in at once. So now if I click on the Buddy album, you can see I've got lots of pictures of Buddy. If I click on the Crystal album, I've got pictures of Crystal. And I can even put photos in more than one album. Say I want to have an album called Animals. Well, again, I can just shift click, select a lot of photos, click the green plus mark, call this album Animals, 
click OK. And now I've got an album called Animals that has both dogs and cats. I've got an album called Buddy that has just Buddy the Wonder Dog. And I've got an album called Crystal that just has pictures of Crystal, my cat. So that's albums. One of the most fundamental organizational things that you're going to want to learn how to do inside the Elements Organizer. The next thing we want to learn how to do is some basic editing of our photos. So let's go back and look at all our photos. I'm going to click on All Media. So I'm looking at all of the photos in my catalog. And let's pick a photo for editing. Maybe this picture of Buddy. I click on that photo to select it. You can see I've got the blue border around it and the little blue check mark that shows that I've got that photo selected. And then down here at the bottom is our editor button. Just click on editor and Photoshop Elements will open up with this picture of Buddy in our editing environment. There's three different views of the editor, quick, guided, and expert. This is just a getting started guide, so we're gonna focus on quick. Inside the quick edit view, there's lots of really simple things that we can do to make our photo look much better. The first thing I might wanna do is adjust something like exposure. To get started with doing that, down here in the bottom right corner, make sure you have the adjustments panel selected. If it's not, just go ahead and click on it to select it. And then come up to something like the Exposure section. Click on that to expand it, and you can see Photoshop Elements has analyzed my photo and given me nine different variations of the exposure control. To adjust the exposure of this picture of Buddy, all I have to do is hover my mouse over these different thumbnails, pick the one I like, and click on it to make it stick. So I'm going to just brighten the exposure a little bit to brighten up Buddy's face, click on it to make it stick, and it's as simple as that, I've brightened the exposure of my photo. If I want to darken the exposure a little bit, well, I just hover over a different thumbnail and click on that one. So I can click around and get just the look that I'm interested in. The next thing I might want to do to this photo is crop it down. Cropping a photo allows me to cut off the edges and focus on just the part of the photo I'm interested in. Over here on the left are a number of different tools. This one right here is our crop tool. Go ahead and click on the crop tool. Photoshop Elements will analyze your photo and give you four different crop suggestions. I can hover my mouse over any of them, find one that I like, and click on it to get it to stick. If it's not exactly what I want, I can change it by just dragging the edges in or out and get the exact crop that I'm interested in getting for this photo. If I know I'm gonna print this photo at a certain size, well, that's what this crop restriction pulldown is for. Say I'm going to print this as a five by seven. I'll just go ahead and pick five by seven. And then all of my crop suggestions are a five by seven aspect ratio. So I know that when I print that out, it's gonna fit in my five by seven frame. Once I get my crop rectangle set up exactly as I want it, I just click on this little green check mark to confirm. And just like that, Photoshop Elements has cropped my photo to fit in a five by seven frame. The next thing I might want to do is personalize my photo by adding a text caption. That's what the text tool is for. Over here on the left, just go ahead and click on the T, and that's going to bring up our text tool. Down along the bottom in our tool options, I can do things like pick the font that I want, whether it's bold or regular text, pick the color, pick the size, all those different things that make that text exactly as I want it. Once I get those set, I just hover my mouse where I want to put the text and click and then go ahead and start typing. If my text is too big for the area that I put it on my photo, we'll just go ahead and select the letters, come down to the size pull down, and change the size. I'm gonna set this maybe 36 points. There we go, now that fits. I'm gonna go ahead and click this green check mark to say that's the text I want, and if it's not quite positioned exactly where I want it, I can simply drag it to anywhere on my photo that I want. I can also resize it by just dragging these corners. If I hover my mouse over one of the corners and drag it out, you can see I can make my text any size I want. I can move it. I can do all kinds of fun things. When it's exactly as I want, just click that green check mark and I'm done. Now that I've given this photo a personal touch, of course I want to save it. That'll happen when I close the photo. This little X mark right here in the top right corner is how I close this photo. Just click on the X mark and I get prompted of whether I want to save or not. I'm going to say save 
and I get a dialog box that asks me where I want to put that photo with a few other options. I can go ahead and navigate and put it anywhere I want. I'm going to leave it in the buddy folder and I'm going to leave all of these options set exactly as they are. Click Save and my photo is saved to my hard drive as well as put back in my organizer. You can see it's now got that text that I added and it's been cropped down to focus in on Buddy's face a little tighter. So as simple as that, I've brought photos into the Elements Organizer, I've done some basic organization using albums, I've edited my photo by cropping it, adjusting the exposure, and adding some customized text. The next thing I might want to do is share this out with friends and family. If I select that photo, over here on my share menu are all kinds of different ways to share. I might also want to print my photos. Under the Create menu are lots of different creations that I can do inside Photoshop Elements. One of the most basic ones, of course, is just simply printing. So if I select Photo Prints, there's a few different ways I can print, including on my local printer, of course. Go ahead and click Local Printer. And the print dialog box will open, giving me various printing options, like picking which printer I might want to print to, what size my paper is, what size I want my print to be, all those kind of things that are important for printing. So just go ahead and pick your options and click print. So there you have a couple of quick tips on how to get started with Photoshop Elements. Of course, if you ever need more help, you can switch over to the Elements Live View, where there will be a constant stream of new tips and tricks and tutorials. And of course, there's always the help menu where we can link you off to different websites that provide great help for Photoshop Elements. So dive in, bring your photos into Photoshop Elements, do some quick editing, and most of all, have some fun. Thank you.